Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're adding a double jump to our basic jump mechanic. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub. And if you would like to use the written version of this tutorial or download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. Let's take a quick look at the existing jump state from the last episode. Whenever we press our jump key, we transition to our jump state where we add to the Y velocity of our player character. The overall state logic is actually very simple. And to add a double jump, meaning the player can jump again after jumping once, is really just as easy. The question is, do we create an entirely new state or just expand on our jumping state? While we've been adding states for every new movement, in this case, I think it's justified that we just expand our existing jump state. The player will only be able to double jump if they have already jumped anyway. And functionally, we only need to check if the player presses jump again and then add to the Y velocity one more time. Can you make it more complicated? Absolutely, but for now, we're just adding the ability to jump midair. So we'll stick to expanding our jump state. Let's head to our jumping state script and add two more variables double jump velocity and a double jump boolean. Within our update function, we'll check if the player presses the jump key again and if double jump is false. The double jump boolean will act as a check to see if the player has already double jumped. When the if check passes, we immediately set our double jump boolean to true and then set our player's y velocity. Here, I'm gonna set the velocity to equal our double jump velocity rather than add to it. This is because if the player is falling, their velocity is actually going to be negative. So adding a value will lessen the actual jump boost. While simply setting the velocity to our value means it will always equal that velocity. Finally, when we exit our state, we reset our double jump boolean back to false so it's ready for next time. And that's it. A very simple way to add a double jump boost to our player. Now jumping can be much more responsive and look a lot better than what we've set up so far. For example, having how long the button is pressed, determine the strength of the jump, and adding animations. So in the next episode, we'll look at creating a more advanced jumping mechanic for our FPS. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider a like and subscribe to the channel as we're going to be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the written tutorials and the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.